Hello everybody, today I'm going to be going over um, evading heuristic detection among antivirus vendors. Um, we'll be using VirusTotal to test it. So to start off, I'm going to pull this over here. Um, I'm using this website called Reverse Shell Generator. It's very useful if you need a quick reverse shell for doing whatever, um, hopefully, ethical and legal activities you are doing. So I've entered my IP address and a random port. I'm just gonna copy this reverse shell code right here just to make sure it works. So I'm gonna throw it all into this folder I have, create a new one, let's just call it rev.cpp, control V and save it. Um, I have my own IP right here, 192.168.56.3 and then I'm gonna compile this. I'm gonna cross compile it. So I'm gonna compile it on the Kali Linux machine but It'll work on Windows because I'm going to use x86-64 um, MinGW. And I'm just going to save this as out.exe. And these two flags right here, S and OS, um, just compress it so it's less space. Um, and then finally, I need to link the WS232 um, library as indicated right here. So if we just hit enter, give it a sec, we should have a file in this shared folder that I've created up right here. So if I start my reverse shell or my uh, netcat listener and click out, I have a reverse shell in the box and pretty easy, right? So also for some reason, Windows Defender doesn't notice this, which is a little concerning, but that's besides the point. Um, I'm gonna clear the screen and we're gonna go over to virus total now and check out how much this um, reverse shell gets caught. So if we just let it scan for a second, we should have a couple things come back. Yep, like these right here is what I wanted to talk about specifically. Um, later videos I'll have and my uh, Udemy course that I'm working on will have a better um, in-depth explanation about how to avoid this other stuff. But right now I just want to focus on this heuristic thing right here because unlike Google or Deep Instinct, these actually give us um, like Kapersky and Zone Alarm give us more <coughs> detailed insights into why they've detected the binary as malicious. So right here we have a heuristic uh, back it detected as a backdoor running on Windows and R shell gen. I'm pretty sure it's referring to reverse shell generator. That's why um, it got it from this website. And it's called heuristic detection because it's recognizing similar patterns that this one has um, from this website. So obviously since we copied and pasted it, it's seeing that it maybe declares like one, two, three, four, five variables at the very start and then it calls WSA startup and then Winsock, things like that. So it's essentially detecting these um, strings that they can find in the binary and saying, okay, I've seen this before. Well, that looks like this it's from this website so we're going to mark it as malicious so just to go back um, i want to do a couple things to obfuscate this a little bit more so the first thing i'm going to start with and this is very uh what's it called hit or miss you might need to do a little testing what i like to do sometimes is i'll just comment out things that i think look suspicious like i'm not going to go through the whole process but maybe this wsa connect or the create process might be a little suspicious and then I'll recompile it and run it. And if the antiviruses don't notice it, then I'll know that this is the one that I need to obfuscate. So I'm not gonna go through that right now just because to save time. Um, but I do want to point out that there's a couple things we could do. Um, for instance, maybe we wanna move these outside. So I just do control X and I'll create a new function called init. And then outside of my main process, I'll just call void in it and then just throw these in here. Now, essentially what we've kind of done, which doesn't work 100% of the time, it depends on the antivirus and it depends on what you're moving. But instead of what the antivirus expects to see, which is the string copy and then the three um, parameters being set, it's now just seeing this function. It's like, oh, okay, maybe it's not the, it's not from the reverse shell generator site. Anyway, what I wanted to point out though was um, this function right here, where'd it go? Let's see, so the WSA connect function right here, 
Now there's another Windows API that can do the same thing. I'm gonna pull that Windows documentation up right now. It's the connect function. It essentially does the same thing, except instead of calling WSA connect and passing in these three extra parameters, which are already marked as null anyway, um, it's, it's a more simplified version of it, but it does the same thing. So that we have the connect function right here, and if I do the WSA connect, if I can find it, WSA connect, establishes a connection. So it does the same thing, it just has some extra um, entries, entries at the end of it. So I'm gonna change this to connect, like that Windows API we saw before, and just take off these three. I'm gonna save it, compile it, let that save and oh we actually have one extra one so i'm gonna save that compile one more time and it looks like it works so let's test it real quick before we throw it in virus total uh, i'm gonna go back run and we have a reverse shell so it still works because it still does the same thing it's just a different signature change so now if we pull up virus total one more time we're gonna choose a file go to out.exe and I'm gonna scan the same thing. Again, all we've changed is we've moved one of these functions around to init and we changed the connect from WSA connect. And if I come back here, I believe the previous one was, I wanna say 10 out of 72. Um, and the main thing was, let's clear the capture real quick. The main thing was the two uh, AVs, Kapersky, and I forget the other one, but there were two of them that marked it as malicious. So as we can see here, we still have some um, that marked it as malicious, but we've avoided two extra um, heuristic detections just because we moved around a couple things without actually changing the functionality of our code. So this was just like a core, a pretty fundamental malware development um, lesson I wanted to teach because it takes a lot of trial and error to see what works and what doesn't and what the antiviruses detect as heuristic um, detections and what they don't. So this is just a quick lesson. You might want to maybe try it out yourself. See if you can get any of these to also um, bump down by maybe calling another function, another function inside of a function or finding something that can create a new, um, do the same thing, but with a different name, like WSA socket, there's also a socket function similar to the WSA connect and connect. So I hope you guys learned something and thank you for watching.